Hello, this is Peter, aka Fathom on Twitter. I'm going to give you a little short instructional guide on how to disassemble the Seagate Backup Plus Hub 8 terabyte edition. I've already taken one apart, as you can see over here. I'm going to give a little more advanced information though. As you can see over here, there's tabs. They've some have snapped, you can't be perfect. I did the top first because I originally thought the top might be the main part, but it's actually the bottom. So, as you can see here, these things snap, but it's fine. I mean, using these as internal drives, the some reason as an external, I was only getting with USB 3 and 3.1, like 20, 30 megabytes a second writing. When I shoved one of these in, I got 100 to 150 megabytes a second as an internal drive. So, it is possible to do it. It's not too hard. It's all about doing it from the bottom. Mainly what you're going to be doing is get something extremely sharp and has a good angle on it. I have, for example, my little tool kit here from Maytag back from when my dad worked at the old Montgomery Ward days at Fort City Mall. So, get this open. What you need to do is you have to wedge it into this spot over here. Ignore the serial number. Now let's focus it. You're going to wedge it into this gap right over here. And from there, you're going to wiggle it and push it inwards towards this way, not upwards, inwards. Because here you're going to crack and smack off the uh, clips. As you can see, there's one clip right here. There are several scattered throughout. As you can see, as this being the top here, you can see all the clips removed. I haven't seen a good guide on how to do this. I've been doing this for a lot of Seagate drives and Western Digitals and whatnot just to make on internals because trying to find an internal 8 terabyte for $180 is damn near impossible. And they had these on sale at Amazon and whatnot. So mainly, yeah, you're going to be grooving little by little and doing that. And then get yourself... Get yourself a scraper or tool like this. Because this will make it easier. Once you got those snapped, you're going to just slide this in and pop it upwards. Outwards and then upwards. And once you have that done, you'll just have to disassemble it. When you do it from the bottom, it just slides right out. And then from there, you'll be able to just unscrew it all. When you start from the bottom, you want to start at this edge right here. And then work back here, back to here, until you get up to here. Because this part's going to be a little bit harder to remove. As you can see, I kept mine. I kept mine still connected to it because I didn't want to break this and completely damage it. So you can bend it and then flip, pop out the hard drive. As you can see, as I pulled it from the bottom, this piece should prop, plop right out. There you go. You have the hard drive right here. That should do the trick. All right, so here's the hard drive. It is an archive hard drive. So what you'll do is you'll be taking these four pieces off and removing the screw here. You'll be peeling this off gently without scratching yourself or cutting yourself. This side comes off relatively easy. And this one screw, actually you don't have to take that screw off, that one's fine. So you mainly got to take the four corner screws off. Once you have those taken off, you should be set. So once you have the four screws off, you just have to see where the SATA connection is. And push against it. You got the hard drive out. It's just a normal SATA hard drive. This is the controller board for the hub. And... I tested this not too long ago too. I have an old, older five terabyte Seagate external or hard drive that I use internally. That was from an external, and I was able to use this controller and the hub with it, and it recognized the five terabyte drive. I've tried that before with the five terabyte enclosures. It'll recognize the drive as five terabyte. You can't read and write to it. 
they updated this controller. I think they made it a little bit better so you can use different model drives with it for reading and writing and still keep the purpose of the uh, hub. So that's good. That's better than the garbage that was before. And these, I was able to shove this hard drive into a computer. It recognized it right away. It didn't need any special formatting. Unless I remember with the five terabyte ones, you needed to format the drive, but to make it viewable because the controller had a special uh, way of recognizing the drive. It split it off into two weird partitions. Other good note is if you have the top off like this and you took the bottom off, you can actually make it so you shove this back in you have the connectors all plugged in like this and then you can actually just use it as an external enclosure take a hard drive that you know works with it match it up gently to the controller slide it in and there you go you have it see so it's removable you could change it out put other drives in here and now you have a enclosure a nice looking enclosure that has a USB 3.0 hub in it there you go. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to click subscribe and thank you for watching.